producing land sizes as the population continues to grow, dairy farmers are no longer able to produce enough feed for their cows. In a fresh drive to mitigate this, a group of farmers from a non-traditional dairy area have come to the rescue and are growing fodder for sale, a strategy expected to help increase production, improve access to milk and increase incomes for rural, small-scale farming families. On this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip Keitani was in Homer Bay and brings us the innovative approaches farmers from that end have taken up. Smallholder dairy farmers in Kenya produce 80% of the milk consumed. This has been pegged on a seasonal rainfall pattern, which has traditionally been fluctuating, thus leading to milk scarcity during the dry season and surplus during the rainy season. We realized that there was a big gap in feeding uh, animal feeds. Uh, that's when we started targeting farmers who are able to produce fodder, uh, specifically as business. Recent studies show that the growth population and increase per capita milk consumption is raising ahead of growth in supply due to low productivity, dependence on rain-fed fodder, and limited processing capacity. Uh, we are doing the irrigation twice a week, and uh, I'm irrigating from Lake Victoria. And uh, the water there is, I mean, uh, it's plenty of water. Reverse the high dependency on rain-fed fodder. Farmers in Homer Bay have been able to grow fodder thanks to a training spearheaded by the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, and the Kenya Agricultural Value Enterprises Project, KEVS. I've been working with such farmers to introduce them to the better seed, seed varieties for, uh, for which, uh, which have a potential to improve, uh, to improve production. Fodder is critical in dairy production because it constitutes 70% of daily animal feed requirements, with feed supplements supplying other 30%. Storage in fodder thus results in poor animal body condition, low milk production, low fertility and vulnerability to diseases. Umarod is one of the most important uh, uh, source of uh, crude protein and high, and high dry matter value for our crops, especially those in the dairy farming. As a result of the program, over 36,320 acres of fodder and pasture has been established or rehabilitated since 2013, while 60 hay collection centers have been constructed or rehabilitated. Boma Road is when the field is 50% under flowering. Yeah. That is when it has the highest crude protein and is a recommended stage. To scale up this initiative, Kevs in partnership with 22 county government in collaboration with the stakeholders including dairy farmers, fodder farmers, commercial seed suppliers, private sector technology suppliers, financials and research institute has been organizing workshops for purposes of sharing viable strategies including highlighting investment opportunities in fodder production and commercialization. With the majority of dairy farmers in the country being small-scale farmers, Reducing land sizes has seen them struggle to feed their animals. But now with farmers from other regions of the country that dairy is not doing that well, are now growing fodder that is now helping their counterparts in the dairy-rich regions. Philip Keitang for The Next Frontier.